flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 
we're good. Hello, everyone. This is Sergeant Coons, North Lebanon Township Police Department. I want to welcome you to the DARE Culmination Program. This is the first time for all of us, so please bear with us. Um, there's many firsts right now. I hope you're all doing well at home, and I hope you're, you're practicing your social distancing, and we will all be through this very shortly. Of course, you know, we're here and we're gathered here to congratulate all of you for a great job that you did this year in the D.A.R.E. program. I wish I was there to shake each and every one of your hands. You are one of the finest classes that have ever went through the Ebenezer Elementary School. And I am proud to say that Ebenezer, again, had 100% student graduation within the D.A.R.E. program. So congratulations to each one of you, and congratulations to each of you and your teachers. For those of you who are listening and are not familiar with the D.A.R.E. program, let me tell you a little bit about the program and what the students were instructed on. The D.A.R.E. program started in Los Angeles in 1983, and it was there to combat drugs and teach the kids a little bit more of what they were going to be seeing on the streets and how to combat that. Since then, the program has evolved to help students understand the decision-making process, teach them how to make the proper decisions, and know why they did that. It still instructs the harmful effects of drugs, and many of you as parents may have seen that the, the children came home and, and asked you, say, hey, did you happen to see this when you were a child? They were, they were, they were asked to do that. Please go home, share your, your, this with your parents, to see what they have to do, to do and what they had in their time. At this time, I'm gonna ask Dr. Bosman to step in here. I know he has something very special he would like to share to each one of you. I would like to share with each of you just how important the D.A.R.E. program is. Uh, I've shared this uh, in previous years. I have four brother-in-laws who are police officers and one was very active in a similar role to Sergeant Coons. He was the D.A.R.E. officer um, in his police department. And when I think about the D.A.R.E. mission, about teaching students good decision-making skills to help them lead safe and healthy lives, how important that is. Um, and the D.A.R.E. vision, a world in which students everywhere are empowered to respect others, choose to lead lives free from violence, substance abuse, and other dangerous behaviors. All of these things are lifelong skills, not just in the next couple of years, but throughout your life, you will all, always encounter situations. And it's really all about the choices you make and making the right choices. Uh, I know that Sergeant Coons mentioned a little bit about the history of D.A.R.E. Uh, over 100 million students in the United States and over 200 million worldwide have participated in the same program you're participating in. I know there's been some changes and, and even a few in recent years, uh, but still sticking to that their decision-making model of defining the problem, assessing it, responding, and evaluating. And really throughout your life, you're always going to encounter decisions and usually in most cases, it's gonna be a good decision or a not so good decision. And if you make the right choice, you're gonna lead yourself to a much happier life, a much better life. Um, so just so appreciative of Sergeant Coons and, and our opportunity to have our Ebenezer students participate. Part of the instructional phase of the D.A.R.E. program near the end was they had to write an essay. And in this essay, they also had to make a commitment and a pledge to whomever they wanted to. And I wanna share with each one of you exactly what was said during some of these, what we like to say, what the kids had to say. What annoys Tessa is the fact that most people that smoke know that it is unhealthy, but they do it anyways doesn't understand that, as many of us don't. Nyla promises her family that she will never consume drugs so that she can fulfill her dreams and be successful. 
Declan will always stay true to himself and never let his family and friends down. Nice choice. Lainey's passion is cheerleading, and she knows that she will never be able to go to the competitions if she does drugs. Jonathan said that drugs are not in his future and will seek help from a trusted adult. Zachary said that he will use what he learned to make responsible and save choices. Julio and his family are using the DARE decision-making model by challenging him with situations so he will know how to overcome them. Great job. Toby said, he will always remember the quote, strength in numbers. And choosing good friends is important to Carlson. Choose friends who don't pressure you. Very well said by each one of you. At this time, I think Sergeant Coons is going to announce the DARE essay winners from each of the homerooms. And in this order, we will start with the third place winners, second place, and first place. The third place winners from Mrs. Bickle's class. I hope you're all giving the drum roll at this point. Ainsley Tussel. From Mrs. Bixler's class, Hunter DeWire. From Mrs. Gilbert's class, Noah Alston. And from Mrs. Wolf's class, Kyle Blizzard. Congratulations. Moving on to second place, from Mrs. Bickle's class, Mason Copenhaver. From Mrs. Bixler's class, Ashante Medina Gomez. From Mrs. Gilbert's class, Abigail Rohr. From Mrs. Wolf's class, Gabby France. Congratulations to each one of you. And to the first place winners, and I know you have a little bit more to do here, but from Mrs. Bickle's class, Emily Engel. From Mrs. Bixler's class, Sophia Mung. From Mrs. Gilbert's class, Alexa Cabrera. And from Mrs. Wolf's class, Alfred Naziri. Congratulations to each one of you. At this time, we are going to show a video of each one of the essays being read by the students. And they will be in this order. Emily Engel, Sophia Mung, Alexa Cabrera, and Alfred Naziri. At this time, I want to allow Mrs. Kathy Crick, she works at the Township Building, uh, and behind every officer is a great lady in the office making sure things run smoothly, uh, like Mrs. Leiter and Mrs. Nice in the office. So. Uh, Mrs. Crick, who makes sure all of these things, especially the awards and things you'll be getting later, are organized. I'm going to give her a moment here to say a few words to our fifth grade class. Thank you, Dr. Bosman. It's my pleasure to work with Sergeant Coons and the North Lebanon Township Police Department. I enjoy working with the fifth grade teachers and the students and assisting Sergeant Coon with the DARE program. Congratulations, fifth graders. You did a fabulous job on your essays. There, helping me become a teacher. The year is 2028 and I just started college. I'm learning to be a teacher. If I get caught drinking, I wouldn't be able to pursue my dream. Thankfully, in fifth grade, if I didn't take DARE, I would have gotten caught. DARE stands for Drug, Abuse, Resistance, and Education. There is taught to students so they don't do the wrong thing, drugs and alcohol. First, I learned that there are 75,000 alcohol-related deaths each year in the U.S. This is bad because the U.S. loses more and more people and families lose loved ones. I want people to live long lives. Another thing I learned was that Smokers have more colds and upper respiratory problems. 
This is sad because people need to live long lives for more precious memories. I don't want people to die. It saddens me. I have used the DARE decision-making model by knowing if someone asks me if I want to smoke or drink, I would say no and walk away, knowing I did the right thing. This is very important in my life because I don't want to live a short life. I want to live a long life with knowing that how DARE has helped me. I will never smoke or drink after I learn how many people can die from smoking or drinking. I will use what I learned to make a safe and responsible choices by using social media carefully, never bully others, and never smoke or drink my entire life. I can do this because I can show that I can be a kind kid and a leader by showing I can do this. In conclusion, I pledge to never smoke or drink my entire life. This is important to my family because they want me to live as long as possible. I thank Sergeant Coons for teaching us about air. This pledge means so much to my family and me because I want to be a teacher when I grow up and when I am, I will always remember to teach them about air. Dare by Sophia Mung. Have you ever realized how dangerous some drugs, alcohol, and tobacco are to the human body and mind? Dare stands for define, assess, respond, and evaluate. In Dare, I learned many things. One thing I learned is what to do in a situation involving drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, or tobacco. Such as, if you know an area where people are that smoke or do drugs, stay away from that area or them in general. If you have friends that smoke or do drugs, you probably should not hang around with them. Another thing I learned in D.A.R.E. is that there are a lot of health effects from smoking or doing drugs, or even drinking alcohol. When doing these things, you could lose focus, have memory loss, slow reflexes, and much more. Since learning about D.A.R.E., I've used some of my knowledge in my life, and I plan on using it in the future. One way I've used D.A.R.E., the D.A.R.E. decision-making model is when I was leaving a cheer competition and went outside. There was people smoking and vaping. I decided to go another way to avoid any contact or inhaling the smoke. I plan to use the DARE decision-making model to make many safe and responsible choices. One way I plan on using the model is when people are outside or somewhere and they are doing something that is illegal or not good, such as smoking, doing drugs, or drinking. I will avoid any contact and seek an adult. As you can see, I will use DARE throughout my life and I plan on never forgetting my knowledge from my classes. Thank you, Sergeant Coons. I, Sophia Mung, promise to all my family that I will never use drugs because I know that they are harmful to the human body and mind. And there, the most surprising fact I learned was that people spend a bunch of money on drugs when 75,000 people die in the U.S. from bad decisions. There is where a police officer talks to you about decision-making and mental decisions before doing something bad for you and other people. First, one thing that I learned in D.A.R.E. is that walking away from a situation or changing the subject can help you get out of a problem. Another thing I learned in D.A.R.E. is that drugs can cause big problems such as seeing things that are not there and that's not good. Staying far away from drugs can be good for you, for your body, your brain, and also other people. Smoking can cause an effect on other people's drunks that are not even smoking. Secondly, I have learned using the DARE decision-making model by using what decisions you can and can't respond to. Also, I learned how I can evaluate to all sorts of problems. DARE taught me, taught me that you need to take a second and think about what your decisions are, are and figure out if you are making a good dis choice. Also, I, I will use what I learned to make safe and responsible choices by staying away from what can be terrible for me and my own good. And I will not be, and I will not do anything that someone tells me to do that I know is not right. 
Also, I, I will be ready to respond for anything. Lastly, even when I grow up, there will be nothing to keep me from making the best decisions, even if it might be my best friend. My pleasure is to stay away from anything that can harm me or that can harm the people I care for. Not only I physically stay away from bad things, but I will mentally do good choices. Although use of cigarettes has gone down, e-cigarette use has gone up dramatically. There is a lot of work to be done about lowering use of tobacco products, and DARE is helping to achieve that goal. I've learned many things during DARE. I learned ways to avoid dangerous situations at DARE. I used the walking away strategy when a teen was asking me to try something at a park. I don't remember what, but I felt uncomfortable, so I walked away with my two older brothers. I used the D.A.R.E. model when I stopped using my tablet. My problem was that I went on my tablet for two hours every day after school. I could either do nothing, limit my use, or never use the tablet. I chose to never use the tablet ever again. I locked it up in my parents' office. I think this was the right idea because now I read after school and do other educational activities. My plan for safe and responsible choices is to think before I act, assess my friends, and have a plan for when I am bored. If you think before you act, you will make good choices most of the time. If you assess your friends and notice that they are pressuring you to do something, stay away from them and hang out with better friends. Many people try new things and bad things when they are bored. That's why I have lots of stuff to do to keep me occupied. I have learned a lot in D.A.R.E. like what are good choices, what types of drugs there are, and avoiding dangerous situations. I pledge to make wise decisions regarding tobacco, alcohol, and other drugs. Hi, this is Mrs. Fickle, and I would like to announce the graduating class of D.A.R.E. of the year 2020. The following students are Aaliyah Castro, Veronica Castro Garcia, Mason Copenhaver, Terrell Culler, Emily Engel, Isabella Felker, Daylene Figueroa, Trevor Gillis, Cole Howard, Marlena Cadziella, Eli Kissinger, Nyla Leach, Layla Lutz, Cherlise Ruiz Mora, Grace Neal, Andrew Nye, Florencio Payton, Colin Roth, Declan Santana, Emily Sosa, Lucas Steigelman, Stephen Stouch, Lucas Strobel, Ainsley Tuzel, Tessa Walborn, Daniel Waldron, William Werner, Ella Lee Wolf, and Samuel Zeisloft. Congratulations, everyone, for completing all of your DARE requirements. Congratulations to the DARE participants from my classroom. Ali Abdaliam, Juliana Bellaman, Jonathan Benstead, Richard Bowie, Jackson Chernich, Javion Correa, Kira Day Thornton, Hunter Dwyer, James Engel, Hayden Fleck, Kyle Gassert, Jillian George, Kaysen Griffey, Sarah Leonard, Alisa McCutcheon, Ashante Medina Gomez, Sophia Mong, Serenity Muthama, Evelyn Nace, Jeresh Nieves Soto, Kylie Olar, Natasha Reedy, Mahi Shah, Elena Snavely, Kiana Sowers, Antonio Vance, Owen Watson, Eric Weiser, Caden Wolf, and Braden Wolf. Congratulations to these students. Hello, everybody. Today we're here to celebrate DARE graduation with our fifth graders. I'll be reading the names of the students in my class. Boys and girls, your essays were well written, you worked hard, and you did a great job. The graduates from my class are Noah Alston. Sarah Bellali, Sadie Bellaman, 
Gabriella Bonami, Brian Grant, Ryan Brophy, Alexa Cabrera, Taman Carr, Grace Doty, Kaysen Dudek, Liliana Eisenhower, Temperance Gulliver, Avery Highlands, Ariana Hilliard, Crescendia Joseph, Zachary Margot, Cheyenne McGowan, Julio Melendez, Miles Roding, Abigail Rohr, Micah Sanders, Ryan Showers, Yark Sultano, Hannah Storer, Sophia Uffner, Sophia Vion, Grace Umberger, Taylor Woods. Congratulations to all graduates. I would like to congratulate the 2020 DARE graduates from my home room. Kobe Bayshore, Kelut Bulin Morella, Kyle Blizzard, Carson Boyle, Oliver Bryce, Alexis Chapin, Aubrey Cruz, Emma Deschamps, Tobias Felker, Gabriella France, Jordan Gershner, Stern Hamill, Kaylin Heffler, Rylan Long, Daniel McAteer, Caden McElroy, Alfred Naziri, Ayana Obubisa, Ryan Pearsall, Jonalise Gilles Cruz, Samantha Riddle, Isaiah Rivera Lugo, Emma Stout, Eduardo Toro Morales, Emma Travitz, Lorraine Vallejo, Marilis Virowit Candelaria, Emma Wallander, and Jaren Ziegler. Congratulations. Thank you, teachers, for announcing all of those students who participated in and completed the DARE program this school year. Now I'd like to just take a few more moments to talk a little bit about the DARE program. Going back to the DARE decision-making model to define, which would be to describe the problem, challenge, or opportunity. Assess, look at your choices. Respond, make a choice. Um, use the facts and information you've gathered and then evaluate, meaning look at your decision and did you make a good choice? Another thing is to think about the strategies or tips Sergeant Coons would have talked with you uh, during your DARE lessons. Uh, strategies such as avoiding situations, uh, strength in numbers, walking away from a situation, saying no while gi giving a reason or excuse, or changing the subject. Uh, once again, DARE is a lifelong skill, that decision-making process, uh, something that you can apply for many years to come. As we wrap up this DARE graduation and recognition program, I would like to take a moment to, to share a few special thank yous. First, to the North Lebanon Township Police Department, also to Sergeant Kuhn for his many hours here at school, uh, dedicating his time to our students and to this program. Thank you to Kathy Crick from the North Lebanon Township Police Department office for assisting Sergeant Coons and just making sure that everything runs smoothly. We greatly appreciate her help as well. Thank you to the teachers, Mrs. Bickle, Mrs. Bixler, Mrs. Gilbert, Mrs. Wolf, and Mrs. Richwine for making this possible by working schedules around and making uh, time in their schedule for this valuable program. Thank you to the Cornwall Lebanon School Board and administration for continued support uh, of our involvement in the DARE program with North Lebanon Township Police Department. Also, thank you to all the staff at Ebenezer who helped make this program possible as well. One final thing, I'm going to turn it over to some students who have a special message for Sergeant Coons.
Once again, thank you to everyone for making this valuable program possible for our students. Thank you, Sergeant Coons. My favorite part about Deer was writing the essay because I really like to write. Thank you, Sergeant Coons, for presenting Deer to Ebenezer Elementary. My favorite part of Deer was when you gave us the riddles to trick our parents. Thank you, Sergeant Coons, for teaching us all about Deer. My favorite part was when we played Family Feud. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. My favorite part of D.A.R.E. is when you brought in the actual drugs so we can see what they look like. Please accept this gift card from the PTE as a token of our appreciation. Thank you, Sergeant Coons.